This is a day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you guys for tuning in. So yesterday's 20 mile run was a success. Uh, I've managed to complete the run in three hours and 14 minutes. That's something that I'm happy about. Uh, the last three miles of that run was, were the fastest. So I'm extremely happy about that. I won't lie though, mile 17 was the hardest. And that was actually my slowest mile. Um, when I got to mile 17, you know, doubts started to enter my head and actually wanted to walk the rest of the way. My calves were hurting. Um, groin was starting to hurt a little bit, but not too bad. It was just one of those things where I was letting pain dictate the outcome of my performance and how I was going to continue. So I decided to go live on TikTok. I was actually supposed to go live at 9 o'clock, but it was around 9.22 at the time. And I'll tell you what, it actually... Uh, gave me the boost that I needed receiving words of encouragement I actually received a couple of new followers on that as well on the live feed so I went live right after I or was it, where was it before I reached mile 17 yeah it was a little before uh, so that was really the boost that I needed and then as I went to mile 17, I decided to end the live feed and put my phone away and continue the rest of the, the run. So, all in all, the, the run was fun. I actually enjoyed it. I ran with some cool people, um, some old friends, new friends, and it was a very enjoyable experience. It, was, it turned out to be a lot better than I thought it would be. I honestly didn't think I'd run all that well yesterday. The last three weeks of training were not that good. Um, I missed one long run three weeks ago. And the last two long runs prior to yesterday were cut short. So I wasn't feeling very confident about the run yesterday until I made it there and when it started I just said you know let's just put it all behind me and let's just go out there and do my best and that's what I did so after the run I decided to go and get a massage massage my calves because they were well they were hurting so I, there was a lot of tightness in my calves and when this young lady was rubbing them down with this massage stick I was I swear man I was crying <laughs> I was I was laughing and I was crying at the same time yeah tears were were coming out of my eyes but I had my sunglasses on so no one could really see <laughs> I felt pathetic, man, but, I mean, it hurt. That was the most, the most painful massage that I've ever received in my life, but it was worth it, you know, that massage was necessary because I needed to get the, the all those knots out. The right calf hurt pretty bad. The left calf was worse so it took her a while to get those knots out and then to stretch it out and as soon as she put my legs on her shoulders each leg on her shoulders to stretch out my legs I could feel some of the pain going away 
and once the massage was over I felt a little better I got home put some icy hot on my calves I probably put more on my left one than my right one <laughs> let it uh, absorb and those pain areas really started to kind of go away a little bit. So I gotta do it again tonight when I get home from work. But the point that I'm gonna make is everybody at some point in life has pain that they do not know of. For me, it was it was those knots on my calves. Pain sooner or later will reveal itself and it will reveal what you've gone through, what you've either, either done or neglected to do. Your pain will reveal itself through your body language, through the tone in your voice, through the decisions you make, even through your eyes, which are the easiest to read. You went through something in life. You've went through some traumatic times. Some of you probably have been abused. Some of you have probably been in relationships where you've been abused or you've been cheated on. Some of you probably have had issues with finances and maybe it's caused some friction with family or with your, your spouse or your significant other or your children. Whatever it is that you're going through, just like those knots on my calves, it's temporary. It's temporary and all you really need to do is get a spiritual massage to iron that out. And what I mean by spiritual massage, it's simple. You just simply need to pray and cry out to God. Just like I was crying out to God when I got that massage, you need to cry out to God every night if that's what it takes. Some of you have not cried out to God. You say you believe in God. You say you go to church. You say you pray every day. You say you read the Bible. But what is your relationship with the Lord really like? Have you really cried out to him? poured your heart out and shed tears have you done that maybe that's what it's going to take to to relieve the pain your pain may not go away for a while it may take a while for it to go away but it's temporary prayer is the best remedy you can possibly have. And if there's anything that I've learned, it's that. Your problems will probably not go away and you'll probably encounter more problems down the road. In fact, I'm sure you will. But the pain that you are experiencing will make you stronger. It'll make you stronger. You can choose to accept it for what it is, run away from it, or even pretend like it's never happened. Or you can deal with it, pray about it, and trust that God will handle it. Trust that God will deal with it. Give it to God and let him take care of you.
Pain is temporary. Your relationship with God should be more than expecting good things to happen. Your relationship with God should be more than just praising Him when things are going good, when things are going well in your life. Being grateful for all the great things. What about the bad things? Do you acknowledge Him when you're going through something? Are you grateful when you're going through something? We all need a reminder of this. I needed a reminder of this too. We all need a reminder of it. You don't think I'm not going through anything right now? Of course I am. I don't make a lot of money. I got bills I gotta worry about. I work for an employer who really does not value me as a human, but I won't get into any of that. <laughs> we all need a reminder, all of us. We all, at one point, deal with something that's going to be very, very painful. And sometimes that pain will last a while. And that's when you know you need healing. Sometimes it takes a while to heal. Sometimes it could take a decade. It could take two decades. Or it'll take as little as a day. Understand something. Your problems will never go away. They'll still be there. But it's up to you whether or not you want to give those problems to the Lord and allow Him to work through you. And allow Him to bless you in other ways. What do you mean in other ways, you probably will ask? Bless you with other opportunities, with different people in your lives. With a miracle that'll come out of nowhere. It can and will happen. Have faith, guys. Have faith. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that this blesses some of you. Until next time.